Good morning. I was asked to do an animation on, uh, not do an animation, do a video on how I did my jumping through the window animation. It's a, actually kind of a good idea because it, I think it really shows uh, the importance, not the importance really, but when you do something involving the player, the player character, there's actually absolutely no need to involve the player of uh, the player game object in adventure creator the player game object is basically made for this moving around interacting with stuff everything else can be done however you want it in point and click adventure games events actions and everything are generally very static the way Adventure Creator works really iterates that with using markers. So if you click an object like this construction line, move to the marker, stand still, turn to the right, make a comment. It's not like FPS games which have dynamic actions where you can jump right or jump left and shoot something in the air and the game has to react to all those different scenarios. When you make an a point and click adventure game, it's basically a long segment, not segment, but it's a lot of short movies played one after the other, which the player unlocks by clicking things, basically. So, in this uh, start sequence, the, play, uh, the player character jumps through the window, lands on the floor, starts a little dialogue, which I've shortened for the purpose of this video, breaks free, goes and uh, stands into cover behind this pillar, has a little conversation with the little robot over here, and then the game starts and you can start moving around. What you, the player, doesn't know is that until she stands up and walks over here, the player is actually never in the scene. The player character, this one, is actually hiding outside the scene where the camera can't see her. Everything that happens here is just a sprite that is placed here with an animation controller tied to it. The all the dialogue, it's not the player speaking. It's an NPC that is invisible made to emulate the player's looks. So it has the same uh, speaking label as the player. The NPC also has the sp same speaking color for the text as the player. But it's not the player speaking. So let me show you, I guess, under the hood. So this is the same scene uh, in the Unity Editor window. First of all, one thing that might strike you immediately is that there is an, a little sprite here called Player Speech. This is how uh, when I'm hiding my my player, how I make it see, uh, emulate it talking, I can use. <clears throat> it's hard to explain this without. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not a native English speaker. I'm, I'm doing my best here, but I can use this for many things. This is a game object. It's called Player Speech Movable. This is this game object is an invisible sprite. But within the editor, it has this visible, so I can so I can find it. I have a little arrow here that shows that this is where the uh, speech will spawn. <coughs> this is actually an NPC. It has no animations, nothing really. It's just an empty NPC. But its dialogue settings down here is set to the same color as the main character, and the speaker label is also set as the same as the main character. So. Whenever I use a dialogue and using this NPC, so I don't click the his player for the line, I use this game object, the NPC making uh, talking instead, it will kind of look like it's the player talking. It won't animate or anything, it won't animate the player, but I'm using this where the player isn't shown. Or I can also use it if I want for example, the player to speak into a microphone and the sound to appear in a loudspeaker somewhere. Or maybe if uh, she's helping another person in another room, 
and she speaks through through the uh, uh, the camera then I can just take this object and I'll just move it to the camera and I call that when I do that dialogue and it will look like my main pa main character is talking through the camera spoken mirrors but how did I do the jumping through the window animation yep that is a super simple one when the game start the player spawns here at the player start 2d the default player start the camera can only move as far as here so she will spawn outside the visible area instead there is a game object over here this game object is invisible but this game object has an animation controller on it with a lot of things going where, where a lot of things happens for example this So this is animated like any other object you would make. Like a little fire, a little light, candle burning, something, a car driving past. This is completely a standalone object that just looks like the player. Just uses the same sprites. But while this animation is playing, the player, the actual player, is still keep standing over here outside the field of view so what happens is this animation plays boom, 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 boom. she ends up over there this animation is set to not loop yeah that's the most important thing don't forget to uncheck loop time so it only plays once then it will freeze on the last frame when the animation has finished playing a dialogue starts and that's the dialogue that we saw before where she could uh, where she broke free we also do we also when this animation ends we also start a couple of other animations like the scaffold falling over and stuff like that but the most important thing is regarding this player the dialogue starts once I hit the uh, uh, end that dialogue which is the break free option this animation will play boom she will punch straight up when that animation is finished the scaffold will move the next animation will play standing up and the final frame is this when this animation, as you can see here, there's a green marker right where this animation ends. So this is the sneaky part. This animation ends, its final frame is almost standing up. The next frame doesn't exist because the next frame in the action list, or well, I guess the next action in the action list after this animation finishes is to teleport the player standing on this marker to this marker facing the direction of the marker facing right so what's happening here is the player stands over here waits for this animation waits for this animation to finish the conversation starts using the player speech marker the player speech object this player is still the main player is still waiting outside the screen we uh, yeah the conversation plays using this game object uh, the uh, uh, the player you presses the end conversation which is break free the animation to stand up place and right at the last frame the player gets teleported to this marker and the game starts and you have control of the player not really because she will move to this marker and get into cover
and start a new dialog. But all this, this entire sequence doesn't contain the player at all. So that's basically how I did it. Not sure if this, this is a really short video, it doesn't really, I don't go into a lot of the technical details, I'm sorry for that, I'm, 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 I'm quite pressed for time at the moment. Uh, and it's, I guess this is my first scene I've ever did, so it's a huge mess. So if I show the action list, I'm, you, you won't understand it, there's just things everywhere. But the gist of it is that you don't need to use the player character game object to do this. You can do it, you can just fake it. And this is just a regular animation. Used, I used it using the record. Well, first of all, I did the uh, uh, the frames, which I wanted to use. And then I just transformed the position of it, moved it around with the uh, keyframing recording mode, and placed it where I wanted it. And I used this in a lot of places. In the end of this scene, the player will get shot. So this is a, another example of how you can do it because, as you said, point-and-click adventure games, they are static, they are not dynamic. Well, it can be, but mine isn't. So this guy over here shoots the character. Spoilers. She fires a shot at our main character, knocks her out. But there's no reason for me to spawn a bullet or something from, from this player character. I could just put the bullet hanging in the air and hide it and then I just makes it visible when I need to because she's never gonna be shot from this angle or this angle she will always be shot from this static position you get me so I hope that gave some insight in how to do how to do it uh, setting everything up in the action scene, it's, it's very simple, I'm not, I don't think I need to go into any details, it's just chaining actions off to the other, play this animation, wait until finished, teleport player, wait until finished, play the next animation, wait until finished, and so on and so forth. Really simple stuff. So, hope this helps, uh, have a good one, and Merry Christmas!